Hey guys, Rashid Phillips here, and I'm with my great buddies Ghazni to, well, bring you one of my absolute favorite dishes, a smash burger. We're out on the beautiful lake, waters are calm, people are hungry, so let's get to cooking. Today, we're gonna be making smash burgers in the rock box. Very simple recipe, but we're gonna add a little bit here and there to really step up the flavor profile. Let's get started. What we've got here is some wonderful ground beef. This is an 80-20 mix. You can do 70-30, but I wouldn't do a 90-10. That's just because it's not gonna have enough fat and we really want fat because, well, fat's where the flavor is. Now, we've got our ground beef 80-20, got some mushrooms, some sliced onion, tomato, and bacon because bacon makes everything better. And that's actually what we're gonna put onto our skillet that we'll be cooking all of this in first. We're gonna go ahead and use the fat rendered down from the bacon to cook up our burgers. Now, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and get the fire going on our rock box. We're using very little splits of hickory and a mixture of post oak, which is just gonna add a little bit of extra aroma and flavor to our burgers. Let's get that fired up. All right, so we've got the rock box coming up to temp. We've got our wood splits back there. Really gonna add that additional sense of flavor. Now let's start preparing our burger. Meat in half. Now, this is gonna form a rather large size patty, especially once we smash it down. So if you want to, and you're looking for maybe like a double patty, but don't wanna feel guilty, split this guy in half and roll that up. So we're just gonna mold them about this size. That's what we're looking for. So the trick with this, so let's say you start off with uh, 16 ounces, one pound. Just split that one pound in half. Now you have two eight ounce patties. Barbecue math, it's the only math I'll do in public. But those two eight ounce patties are gonna be pretty big when pressed down. So you split that eight ounce, now you've got four ounce patties which is roughly what we're gonna have here. One burger. So now we've got a whole nother burger set we can make here. Split in half. Really compress it in. We're gonna season these once we press them. If you can play with Play-Doh, you can make smash burgers. There we go. Now we got them. Now, it's okay if one is bigger than the other. That's all right, you're normal. There's nothing wrong with you. That's how Mother Nature intended. We've got our patty set. We are gonna go ahead and get our cast iron skillet up to temp. We're gonna slide it right into our rock box, let that do its thing. But when we do, we're also gonna add in a couple strips of bacon so we can start releasing that fat. So we've got something ready to sear off and press down our burger patties in. We wanna release and use as much fat as we possibly can. We've got our bacon loaded in the pan. Let's get it put into the rock box. All right, got our bacon fully cooked. Now we can just set this off to the side. We'll come back to it a little bit later when it's time to build our burger. Remember we started off with extra thick cut strips here. Now we're gonna get our skillet back in, let it get up to temp. Then we're gonna drop in our burger patties and get ready to smash. Very simple, it's just like the name says. We're gonna grab one of our patties. Ooh. Listen to that sizzle. Set another of our patties down. You can use parchment paper or a piece of butcher paper. Just do not use a paper towel because it's gonna stick. It's not a great effect. Place it down and just press on down. There we go. There it is. And back once again. Now we're just gonna get these right back onto the rock box, but first we're gonna hit them with a little seasoning. You can use whatever beef seasoning or burger seasoning you like. I'm using my own American Prime. You can use salt, pepper, some garlic salt, a little bit of cayenne, paprika, but whatever you use, make sure you enjoy it 
and be generous. So now that we have our patty seasoned, we can get these right back into the rock box for a quick second. While that happens, I'm gonna slice up some of our mushrooms so that they can cook in that bacon fat and some of the juices being released from our patties. I'm just gonna add these right into our skillet. And let the rock box do us there. Ooh, those look good. Our mushrooms have cooked down in the residual bacon fat and the juices from our burger. This looks amazing. Now, I'm simple when it comes to burgers. I like to be able to taste the beef and taste the flavor. I don't want to add way too much stuff. You can build yours, dress it up however you like, but this is how I do mine. I toasted our buns, always. Now, I'm going to lay down a bed of my mushrooms. Next up, I'm gonna lay down some fresh onions. You can caramelize these if you'd like, if you're looking for something sweetener. I like that nice crunch, that, that bite that fresh onions gives. You can even pickle these too. I'm gonna add in a few strips of tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, whatever you call them. Just eat them. Don't forget our bacon. Cause is it really a nice smash burger without bacon? I don't wanna find out. Let's go. Ooh. Get that fat melting off. One patty. Got to use the bacon as a spacer. Keep it all even. And another cheesy, delicious beef patty. There we go. All right, guys. There you have it. A very simple but very delicious mushroom onion smash burger. Let's see how we do it. That's juicy. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to beat a good burger. It really is. Simple ingredients put together the right way. Make sure you toast your buns. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to say something. If you're looking for recipes like this and more, make sure to visit gosney.com. I don't blunt. The ducks are back. This Father's Day, give your dad what he really wants. A paddle for dad and mom. Ask your mom, she'll tell you why.